Complete the construction web by starting with the inequality, negative 3 is less than 4, and perform the indicated operations on the inequality moving outward. So for the first operation, we use negative 5, which means in this direction we add negative 5 to both sides. In this direction we multiply both sides by negative 5. In this direction we divide both sides by negative 5. In this direction we subtract negative 5 from both sides. Let's move in this direction first, where we add negative 5 to both sides. This gives us negative 3 plus negative 5 is less than 4 plus negative 5. Simplifying, negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8, giving us negative 8 is less than 4 plus negative 5 is negative 1. Notice the inequality is still true. Negative 8 is less than negative 1. In this direction, we multiply both sides by negative 5, which gives us negative 3 times negative 5 on the left, and on the right we have 4 times negative 5. But remember, when working with inequalities, if we multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative, we must reverse the inequality to maintain the truth statement. So negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15, and because we multiplied both sides by a negative, we reverse the inequality, so now we have greater than, on the right side, 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. After reversing the inequality, notice how we do have a true statement, 15 is greater than negative 20. In this direction, we subtract negative 5 from both sides, which gives us negative 3 minus negative 5 is less than 4 minus negative 5. Remember, subtracting a negative is the equivalent to adding a positive. So on the left, we have negative 3 plus 5 is less than 4 plus 5. Well, negative 3 plus 5 is 2, giving us 2 is less than 4 plus 5 is 9. 2 is less than 9 is true. In this direction, we divide both sides by negative 5. So we have negative 3 divided by negative 5 on the left. On the right, we have 4 divided by negative 5. But remember, if we multiply or divide both sides by a negative, we need to reverse this inequality. So on the left, this simplifies the positive 3 fifths. And now we reverse the inequality, so we have greater than, on the right, we have negative 4 fifths. And we know 3 fifths is greater than negative 4 fifths, making a true statement. Now for the next operation, we use positive 4. So going back to this branch, we take this inequality now and subtract 4 on both sides, which gives us 15 minus 4 greater than negative 20 minus 4. 15 minus 4 is 11. Negative 20 minus 4 equals negative 24 giving us 11 is greater than negative 24, which is true. In this direction, we take this inequality and multiply both sides by positive 4. Because we're multiplying by a positive, we do not reverse the inequality. So this gives us negative 8 times positive 4 is less than negative 1 times positive 4, giving us negative 32 is less than negative 4, which again is true. Now moving in this direction, we take this inequality and divide both sides by positive 4. Because we're dividing by a positive, we do not reverse the inequality. So we have 2 divided by 4 is less than 9 divided by 4. And 2 fourths simplifies the 1 half, giving us the inequality 1 half is less than 9 fourths. And finally, for this branch, we take this inequality and we add positive 4 to both sides. So this gives us 3 fifths plus 4 plus 4 over 1 is greater than negative 4 fifths plus 4 plus 4 over 1. We know we must have a common denominator, which is going to be 5. So we multiply the numerator and denominator of 4 over 1 by 5 to obtain a common denominator. This gives us 3 fifths plus 20 fifths is greater than, on the right, negative 4 fifths plus 20 fifths. 3 fifths plus 20 fifths is 23 fifths is greater than, negative 4 fifths plus 20 fifths is 16 fifths. And 23 fifths is greater than 16 fifths, making a true statement. I hope you found this helpful.